All right, guys, we got a BMW X3. This is a three liter engine. I worked on this vehicle a couple months ago. We had a problem on our thermostat, uh, our gauge. We had a problem. So it's been running for a while. And then our gauge is always stuck when cold. So to me, I did the diagnosis on this already. I'll put down the, the link below. This is a thermostat housing right here. There's a sensor inside of here. We test this out already. I'll put down the link. I thought we checked current unity and we checked the, the resistance of the sensor while it's running the engine. And the coolant is really hot, but the gauge showing still on cold. So video, this video right here, gonna quickly show you guys how to take out the thermostat. So you go underneath, make sure to take out the shield. The shield is right down there already. There's a lot of bolts taking the shield out. And then it's thermostat is right buried right underneath right there. That's a thermostat housing right there. So we had to make some room for our hands to go in and make some room for the old thermostat to come out. So to do that, we had to take out this uh, inner cooler right here. This is inner cooler. After we take out the in inner cooler, it will expose the lower ride hose and then we're gonna drain the coolant from there. And then we'll be having a big room right here to work on it. So take out the inner cooler. There's two bolts right there on the passenger side and there's a uh, two bolts right here on the driver's side as well and this inner cooler is hanging low it's almost out uh there's a hose for the intake inner cooler and then there's an outlet inner cooler right there i'm gonna show you guys how to take out take out this uh hose there's a clamp right there i'll show you guys after i take out this inner cooler because it's way better to see Look at that, it's all freaking covered up with dirt. This is nasty. All right, here you can see the rad. This is the rad fan. There's the rad right there. There's that hose for your inner cooler. So I'll gonna quickly show you guys how that work. This is how you install it. You just push it in. It'll snap right in there like that. So see that tabs that here sticks out? Those are the one that lock in place the, to the intercooler. So we had to pry those three tabs out so that when you pry it out and then it'll be easy to take out this hose. This is how you take out this uh, intercooler from this hose. Right, hopefully you can see that. All right, just grab a flat screwdriver. So basically there's a plastic here. See, it's, see this two plastic right there? That's where there's uh, tabs. This will this spring sits on the plastic. So so you just put the flat screwdriver on the edge here. You know, pry it out like that. It will sits on the plastic piece. See now it's open here. Now it's a big gap. Same thing on this side. All right, it went back. It was it snapped back in there. So just hold it like this with your two hand. Same thing on the other side. There you go. Now it's spread open. Now the last part is down here. We'll just push this towards the engine. Just like that. There. Now it's wide open. There's no tabs taken out. That means that this hose can be taken out from the inner cooler. That's it guys. That's how you take out that hose. So to install it, I guess you line up the hose to the inner cooler. And when it's lined up, you're just gonna push this in. There you go. Snap right back in. So those three tabs sticks out now. It will lock in place. That's the exact same thing on the other side and on the driver's side. They all the same style. All right, let's move on. All right, guys. So before we take out this uh, rad fan right here, it's on the way. We have to drain the coolant first because the upper rad hose is blocking the rad fan when you're trying to remove this. This rad fan is gonna go up to remove it. Before taking out the upper rad hose, we had to drain the coolant. So to drain the coolant, you have to go right by the thermostat right here. This hose right here. Plastic pipe going to rubber hose, going to the thermostat housing right there. You see the E-clip right there, the spring. You had to pull that out, just use a flat screwdriver. It's out already. So we just had to wiggle this out and pull it out from the thermostat housing. I don't know which way is the coolant gonna go, but be careful. Here we go. Yikes. Oh, it travels all the way to the other side. Yeah. 
There we go. Alright, this is why we had to drain the coolant because the upper rad hose is right there. It's blocking that rad fan housing. So now we can take out the upper rad hose and we can pull this rad fan housing next. Alright, so we have to take out this uh, plastic hose right there and this is going to the reservoir of the coolant tabs here again. Uh, E-clip, just pull that out. Alright, so on the upper rad hose there's a wire clip here again, the big fat one. Just pull that up. And then just wiggle the hose and this should come out. All right, here we go. Upper rad is out. And now the expose of the rad fan. I had to take out the screw right here. At, it's like T25 or something. Take out the screw. And then there's a big fat connector right there for the power of the rad motor. Unhook that. And hopefully this rad fan will come out. All right, so there's a screw right there for the rad. It's screw, it's a T25. Just take out that screw. And there's no screw down here. I'll show you why. There's no screw here because of this uh, side right here. There's a tab. So you have to push these tabs. I'm gonna push the rad back down, okay? All right, I'm gonna push this rad fan assembly down. It will make a snap. There we go. See, that will lock in place. That's when you install it. So right here, there's a little tab. So on the top, just push that back in with a flat screwdriver and then you have to uh, move the rad fan up there you go it's unlocked now you can uh, move this rad fan up and over it should be coming out all right guys so i end up taking out the passenger upper rad hose because this rad fan right here is just won't budge because this rad hose is on the way so it's gonna drain more coolant. Make sure you get a bucket down there. And just put this on the side, make some room. About a couple minutes later, I decided to uh, take out this bar right here because the rad is just not gonna come out with this bar on there. So there's two bolts right here, T40, T40. There's four total. They're all right there. There's two more right there. T40 on those four and then T30 on this three right here. Those are loose now. So let's just take out this last two right here, T40. All right, so this bar should come out just like that. Put that on the side. Now we got lots of room. We probably don't have to take out that lower ride hose right there on that driver's side. And look at that. Easy, easy peasy. Wow. There we go. Rad fan removed on this. Rad fan removed on this uh, N55 engine, three liter. Put this on the side, and then we're gonna continue taking out that thermostat housing right down there. All right, so here's the upper ride hose right there. It's removed. This is that cooler. I believe this is like a transmission cooler right there. This is. This is the tablet here that hooks into the rad fan shrouds. So you just have to like push this down while the rad fan is going up. The only thing that bolt this thing down is right here. That's the only bolt that you need to take out from the rad fan shrouds. So that thermostat housing right there, there's four hoses that connect to that thermostat. The one on the left is out already, you can see. And the one on the top is loose and out as well. So that's two down here. It's a gear clamp hose, so you have to take out that gear clamp down there, right there. And then there's one more at the back, that's the fourth one. So we're gonna have to uh, take out this uh, two bolts right there. Two bolts right there, those bolts are 10 mil, take those out. And then uh, after that, we'll take out the hard part, take out that last hose at the back, and that's the last one. So this will be super loose now, there you go. I'm just gonna swing this out. There's the upper rad hose right there. So let's take that out. And now we got lots of room in here. This is super loose. We're just gonna spin it and then we'll see at the back end of this hose. All right, so I'm gonna spin this housing out towards the back of the vehicle and you can see right there. Gear clamp right there. You could use a flat screwdriver. Make sure you get a really long flat screwdriver. Look at this, just 
coolant just dripping. So this is a really bad idea having this thermostat housing down here. Because here we go. This is super loose now. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, here we go. Finally. It's out. And here's a new one right there. Double check just to make sure it's the right one. It looks good to me. Two big ports right there. Right there. Two big ports and then the 90 degree back there. And a sensor and two bolt holes right there. Yeah, and that's the right one. Alright, this thing can go in the garbage and then we'll uh, put this one into the vehicle. Alright guys, look at that. Finally, we got the new one in in there. You just have to do the reverse process when you install it. You have to do the reverse the way how I take out those holes. That's it. Make sure it's nice and snug. Double check your uh, clips, your spring clips. Okay, make sure that it doesn't pop out. Make sure it's all the way in there. This one, this one, and then on the lower rod right there. Snap right in place. Alright guys, rad fan is installed. Just make sure, double check everything. You get that hole right here. I got the bolt back in there when that hole line up. Make sure put the bolt back in there, make sure this is straight. Back on the driver's side, the tabs, make sure it's lined up, it's right on the hole. Okay, make sure you get this uh, bolt right here for this cooler. Get the upper right hose, snap right in. And then this uh, hose right here going to the reservoir, it snap right in there. So this is good. So ready to go, get the big pot connector in here, snap in there. There you go, nice and snug. All right, I think this is good, this is done. On this side right here, now we're just gonna put the bar back in. Bolt it down. But before doing that, we're gonna have to put the inner cooler back in there. All right guys, so let's uh, check this out. So we got the inner cooler back in there now. And make sure that ring, the snap ring is right in place it's not gonna come out two bolts right there to hold down the inner cooler up same thing on the other side two snap rings right there it's secured wiggle the hose make sure that it's not gonna come out the two bolts right there secured inner cooler is good the hoses for the thermostat housing all four is good we're gonna have to clean this up. We're gonna pressure wash this area here so that there's no coolant. Clean it up. So let's uh, time to uh, start this vehicle up, and then we're gonna fill it up with the coolant. We did some already. Coolant right there. Double check here. I'm gonna install this back in there. So let's uh, warm up the engine and put this to uh, the right temp, and it's gonna bleed the air out of the system. Thank you. 